On this problem, we've been given two functions, g of x, which is over here on the left-hand side, and h of x, which is over on the right-hand side. And they've gone ahead and defined f of x, and you have to be careful about how f of x is defined, but it's g of x times h of x. So these are being multiplied together. We have a product going on here. And what we want to do is we want to calculate the derivative of f at a specific value of 4. So to do so, what we want to do is we're going to have to use the product rule to calculate the derivative. So the product rule says the derivative of one of these, and I'm going to go ahead and put my 4 in here as well, times the other one. Again, putting my 4 in without taking the derivative of h this time. Plus, you leave the first one alone. Again, putting 4 in for x, multiplied by the derivative of the other function. All right, so now we've written it all out, and now we have to collect a bunch of different information. We want to be careful about exactly which graph we're utilizing to get this information as we go through it. So the first piece of information we want to find is g prime of 4. All right, so we have an x value of 4. We locate the point on the graph here. Now, when we, we're talking about the derivative, we're talking about the slope of the secant line. So we want to calculate the slope of this line. It'll be the same thing as the slope of its secant line. So to me, it looks like if we started, say, up here, we go down one and to the right one, or down one and to the right one moving across here. So the slope of that secant line, down one, right one, is going to be a negative one. Next, we want to figure out what is f h of 4. So this time we're going to use h of x's graph over here on the right hand side. An x value of 4 is being plugged in. That corresponds with this point on the graph. So this is different that it's not h prime of 4. It's just h of 4. So that's the ordered pair for 2. So on our graph you could say well h of 4 is going to equal 2 much like we could see in ordered pair form, that's the same thing as 4, 2 as an ordered pair. So this is going to output a 2 plus g of 4. Okay, back to g of x's graph, but this time we're plugging in a 4. We want to use that point on the graph, not the slope of the, secant, uh, the tangent line this time. So this point looks to be 4, 5, or we could say g of 4 equals 5, corresponds to 4, 5 as being an ordered pair. So g of 4 equals 5, we'll put 5 down here, multiplied by h prime of 4. So again, we're indicating the exact same point on the graph here, but this time we're thinking slope of the tangent line. So again, you can kind of go up here, we go down 1 and to the right 1. We're starting here, we go down 1 and to the right 1, looks to be a slope of negative 1 on our graph. All right, now we filled in all the information. We really just need to simplify this down and get our solution. So negative one times two is negative two, plus five times negative one is negative five. Negative two plus negative five makes negative seven. And that will be our solution, f prime of four. All right, hope this helps.